France. Common? Cheap? Stamps? Well, perhaps. And then, maybe not. In 1963, some of these were issued on fluorescent paper. Use a long wave UV light to determine this. The catalog value may surprise you, so check them out closely for your benefit and learning experience. Italy catalog value of such a set is typically under 10 US dollars for hinged and for never hinged under $20 typically. Some catalogs do not go beyond that. However, some do. Well, there is a noted variety amongst others, which differs in the spacing of the overprints, such as narrow and wide overprints, with the wide being the better, so much so to make a search worthwhile, in my opinion. Check a detailed catalog for specific millimeters, ranges, since on all three stamps they do differ. Other varieties include perforations and other overprint varieties. Turkey. The obvious gets our attention, but how about the not so obvious, such as the cancel date of 1937. Whereas the postal tax stamp was not issued until 1938, a minimum of five months difference between the issue and the dated cancel. That makes you wonder if this cover was fabricated. Sometimes stamps had been available at a local post office a day or two prior to the official issue date. But five months or more, perhaps? Well, as you can see, we have to look at everything. Another turkey cover. Here we have a vertical imperf pair between right here and here and here of a postal tax stamp of 1954. Also with double perforation or if you wish a tiny gutter strip. Quite interesting, but also very puzzling. For one, so far I have not found any listing of this particular variety. Secondly, it's the date again. The catalogs only list the year of issue of 1954. No month, no day. If the cancel date is correct, then this will have to be a first day cover for the postal tax stamp. There is no other choice. <coughs> But yet, there is a third curiosity. You might have noticed 
that the cancels on both of these Turkish covers are from the city of Galata and the postal facility in Galata number 5 one from 1937 and one from 1954 furthermore the handwritings show similarities this makes me wonder if these two covers really have been fabricated or so it seems or is it a coincidence so check things closely interesting things we may discover This Russian Zeppelin stamp was issued in 1931 and again in 1932. The 1931 issue in dark gray blue comes in various perforations, watermark positions, and imperforated as do others in the set. The shown stamp was issued in 1932 and is of the blue black color and of the best of three perforation possibilities. It is the line perforated ten and a half and is also unwatermarked. The catalog value justifies the search. France. In reference to one of my prior videos, I like to show you an auction lot that shows knowledge can have a benefit. The stamp on the left was the auction lot. The one on the right, the one I talked about in one of my prior videos. Recognizing these two normally real common stamps as early French precancels can be rewarding as you can see. So please check out my video 5.5 for more on this. I hope you might be generous enough to give me a thumbs up and also perhaps hit my subscribe button. Thank you so very very much for watching. Yes, looking for treasures is always fun and exciting and always like to look at many stamps as possible. Uh, it's a truly wonderful hobby. Good luck to all of you. My channel Stamps Space My Fun Things Thank you so very much again.